So today, when we get a dynode, we're also going to get it aligned. Uh, these come stock 257 horsepower. This is a 2005 S60 T5. Uh, similar to the R, but not all-wheel drive and no active suspension. So I'm excited to see the results because I have a stage one tune from Hilton with a torque limiter delete. So before I put any more modifications onto the car, I want to see what's going on and uh, the baseline for the horsepower. So let's go see what these results are from Speed Elements in San Jose. at speed element time to go get this bad boy dynode and aligned i'm excited for that because it steers a little bit to the right got a nice shop very friendly stuff pulling that bad boy on the dyno Here's what I think happened when I scheduled the car to get dynoed and aligned. And it's not like I did it the same day. I had to reserve it in about a week or two in advance. When I scheduled it, I was already pulling to the right. And they decided to put me on the dyno before doing the alignment, which I thought was kind of strange. But I don't know if that's normal procedure or... But the gentleman doing the dyno kept telling me he noticed it was pulling and he, he readjusted the straps multiple times. So I think it could have been the fact that it was either not strapped down properly or it was pulling to the right and they decided to do the dyno before the alignment. Either way, I don't think it was purposeful and I don't think any harm was done, but it was a bit shocking in the moment. results are in uh, I had some pulling to the right before and this went ahead and fixed it I hope I'm gonna drive it right now and test it but now what you all been waiting for the dyno results might not be what you expect it wasn't what I expected boom dyno results max horsepower 234 max torque 306 i'm surprised a little bit i thought the horsepower would be higher but the torque is extremely high to what i was expecting uh stock these said they were pushing 257 horse 256 torque so very big improvement on the torque uh a little bit disappointed on the horsepower but um the Hilton tune, I think, definitely affected the torque. That's currently the only modification done to this car. But there currently is a full exhaust from IPD coming in. It's just been a, a bit delayed at customs. And then a boostability kit by them, which I, I do have. I just have to put it on. And then uh, so far, those are the only plans I have. I want to do a couple other things. But uh, everything costs money and takes time. So one step at a time. But uh, yeah, I hope this... Uh, was exciting for you as it was for me it definitely surprised me the results all right thank you guys for watching and uh comment down below what you're doing with your volvo i don't have many friends with volvos in the bay area so if you happen to have one in your in the bay area uh, leave a comment i'd love to get in touch all right have a good one